Hi scrubs, I hope you're well. So we're back in Horse Riding Tales. Um, so I have been saving up lots and lots of black pearls through social quests and also doing multiplayer cross country races. And the reason for this was because I wanted to give uh, Violet Rain a complete makeover. And I've wanted to do that for quite a long time. This has been like a big goal that I've had. So we're gonna go in here and have a look at all the different outfits. Um, so we're gonna start with the hair. Now obviously there's the three free hairs which you can switch between at any time. This one kind of looks a little bit green, but I would like, if I was going to pick a green, I'd probably prefer a lighter one. Um, I just want to have a look at all the ones that are like for pearls. I do like this pink one. And I kind of like that uh, sort of uh, ginger one there. Now the next one's for gems, which we don't have. And same with that one. Okay, the one after that is for pearls. I do kind of like that one. That one's got like a nice blue streak to it as well. This one's obviously for gems. So is this. And this one. And then we've got black hair for gems. Now this is actually my favorite. This one, but it's a lot. This one I quite like because it's kind of like that one, but it's for pearls. We got this nice one with like black and red two tone going on. Then we got the really, really yellow blonde. And then we got this aqua sort of one, which I quite like the aqua one too. But I think my favorite is this one this sort of two tone gray. Um, as for eyes, I don't know whether I'll change my eyes. I kind of like the green with the gray, but I'm not 100% sure. We might like come back and do that later. Okay, so we've got three free shirts, and then everything else is either gems or black pearls. Um, no, I don't like that so much. That's okay. I quite like that. I like that. Not so keen on the orange. Not really, that's not me. No, this I like. Do like that. Um, not really keen on that. Uh, no. I mean, some of these are for gems anyway, but we're just gonna look like the dressage stuff. Um, like, we can't buy any of this stuff at the bottom, but I just kind of want to have a look through it. So, yeah, none of this we can buy. Although, I'm not that, like, keen on that stuff anyway. We'll have a look at the pants anyway. I do like those green pants. Those are nice green pants. Um, I want to actually pick something here that I'm going to wear, though, for a top. Uh, I'll just leave it on the base one for the moment, just so we have a look at all the trousers. Uh... Let's see. I kind of like those ones in a weird way. Not this particular one. This one's a little bit bright for me. The fantasy outfit, it's a bit too much. I do want to kind of look at some of the overall complete outfits. The dressage outfit's nice. I do like that. But obviously these are for gems, so we can't get that. Um, but I do like those. And the purple ones are nice. These. I quite like these. And those. And that. No, I don't like these. Those are nice. Yeah, I do like these, but they're obviously gems, so we can't have that. I think the rest of these are all jam ones. Yeah. Um, where's the top half of this? This one? Okay, that's the top half of that one. And what else have we got? Yeah, these are all jams, so can't buy any of the jam ones. I just kind of want to have a look at in some cases. Those are very pink. <laughs> not really keen on shorts personally. kind of like the color of those trousers, but not. I don't like the shoes with them. I think these are probably the ones that I like the most, these trousers. And I think this is quite nice. I also like this. And I like this. I like this. So I think we're going to pick one of these four. Right. So all in all, that's 140. Okay, we'll buy that. There we go. We've got our new outfit. So I'm pretty pleased with this. I quite like this. It's something different. That's for sure. Because I've wanted to do this for such a long time is to give Violet Rain a new look. And it's taken a really long time, especially when we spent all of our um, black pearls on that fox. But that fox is worth it. So <laughs> yeah, um, I'm glad that we got Ruby for sure. Um, 
because I just couldn't pass up that fox, it was too cute. I think I will change my eye colour, maybe. Yeah, I think the green looks nice with this outfit. Right, we're gonna we're gonna go with green eyes, I think, for this. And I don't think we'll do anything else. I think the green I know there's two greens there, but I'm not really the other ones I don't think look as nice as the green does with this outfit. So yeah, I think we'll stick with the green eyes for this outfit. Okay, so my black pearls don't seem to have gone down, so I'm going to buy another companion slot. I don't know why. I think they didn't go down after I bought the outfit. Um, so I bought some companion slots because I re-logged to see if it would reset them, but it hasn't. So I don't know what's going on with that. I think it's just bugged out. Um, but yeah, I've gone and bought companion slots so I can get more pets in the future. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, retry the Skywriters test. Uh, you guys left me a bunch of tips. You said that I needed to collect the little flying things to regain stamina. And I needed, whenever I saw the button start to, for the dash button start to flash, I need to press and hold until I hear the ding noise once it goes through the ring. So that's what we're going to try and do. Um, okay, I kind of messed that up. But yeah if we collect this yeah it does give us stamina back so if we can try and do these i kind of want to experiment with this one race here and see if i kind of hold it but don't if i can get through the rings sometimes and get points and right now i haven't got any points so right now we know that we're doing this completely wrong okay well we got that one there we go we got some points for that one so we did that one right or nearly right Oh, okay, we messed that one up. Yeah, I need to pay more attention because I'm, I, I keep getting like half paying attention to the dash thing. I kind of wish it was a little bit clearer with this. It's kind of like with the dressage. The dressage I finished, figured out after a while, but this, I'll be really honest, would have just confused me for a really long time <laughs> if you guys hadn't been like, oh, you need to do this and this. But I want to try and get through this. Okay, no, I'm not, I'm not doing too good with this. If we could just get enough to go through these successfully. Oh, okay, I think we finished the race. As you can see, I think we only got through one of those rings. Yeah, I think, I'm pretty sure that we got through one of those rings correctly, the rest we failed. But at least we finished the race. So, um, now I just need to do it and get a star because we haven't got a star. Yeah, I thought we wouldn't considering we got through one fence, basically failing most of it. But at least it's some progress. But yeah, thank you guys for the tips. I'm going to just keep trying that until I kind of get to grips with it. Because I definitely see that that's the way to do it. I just need to kind of try and keep doing it until I get it. Right, I'm going to go ahead and train Ruby a little bit more here. Because I need these pets to be, I think, both on level 30 to take them into the next quest. Or at least, I'm not sure if I need to have maybe just one of them level 30. Um... But yeah, I've been working on them. I've been sending them out on the daily missions, whether I think they're going to pass them or fail them. Funnily enough, actually, sometimes even if my pets, there was a quest that I sent them on that had 80% success rate and they failed it. And then I sent them away on one that had like 30% and they successfully did it. And I was like, really? <laughs> so um, I'm still doing it. It does cost gold. Some of them more expensive than others. And I just think it's been worth doing to just to get that extra little bit of XP. But um, yeah, no, I'm just going to keep working along on this, doing these occasionally as well, because these are probably the fastest way to level up my pet. Um, they're just maybe more expensive, I guess, than maybe some of the other ways, but I think we should be good with this. Yeah, okay, so there's a bit more towards Galaxy. Right, I'm going to go and take them both to do the treasure hunt here. Right, Galaxy and Ruby, come on. I'm gonna do this treasure hunt and hopefully get a little bit of XP and some resources for us. I don't know how good this is to be honest because it costs a thousand gold and you don't really get as much as maybe you would out of one of the um, daily missions. Some of them could be cheaper and you'll get more of a reward for it. And they always seem to double back on you as well, even though it probably doesn't take as long as the five minute one. Right, have you nearly found whatever we're looking for? Yeah, you just doubled back. I knew you would do that. You do that all the time. Right, come on guys. I mean, Ruby's supposed to be like perfect for this. She has a skill that's supposed to make her faster at this. Maybe it only works, it probably only works for daily missions, probably doesn't work with this. Oh, okay, they find something. Let's dig this up, see what we got. 
Okay, so we got 18 XP and then a couple of resources. Not as much gold as it costs to do this. This is why I say it's kind of a little bit hit and miss with this. Um, I think for the price of, of doing it, it's kind of expensive. Alright, let's have a look. Oh, there's a jewel and a red fox. I love both of these pets. Oh, which one to get? The jewel or the red fox? I like both of these. Uh, okay, we're gonna get the red fox. <laughs> because I have uh, no self-control and it's just super cute. We might, I want to get the jewel eventually, but yeah, red fox, really cute. Okay, let's see you. Um, give you a name. Okay, so I've called this one Finn and the pet traits are stealth, which makes them very cautious. And then we've also got night vision whenever they get to level 50. They don't have as many learnable skills as the fantasy pets because this is a common rarity pet. But I just love the color. The color is so nice. So I just had to get this pet. Based on that color, I was like, yeah, we have to get this pet. Just because it's got a cute coat, basically. Alright, let's 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 put you on one of our companion slots here. Oh, I can't wait to see this. It's got to be... Oh. Oh, this is the bug you guys were talking about. Yeah, because this one looks like the uh, Epic Pet Fox. The Aquapack one. Okay, right, well. It's not red. Hopefully they fix that because that is adorable. And I, I, I want that one to be red. Because the Aquapack one, I don't know if it's going to show up. But yeah, there's the Aquapack one, which is that color. I wanted me red fox. <laughs> it's a lineback of fox. Why? This is so typical. This is the sort of thing that would happen. Right, um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, try and take Clamatus into that uh, Skyriders test again. I love the fact that your pets all sit in the stable whenever you're caring for your horses. I think it's adorable. Although, I'm wondering if I had all the companion slots and all of the companions, like, like, uh, slots with pets in them, what it would look like. It would probably be like, Complete madness. My horse would probably be like, can you get all of these animals out of my stable? <laughs> I don't know if Clamatus would appreciate it or not. I guess it's getting a little bit crowded in there already. But yeah. Um, I have been saving up my apples. I got like 750 apples from one of the pet quests, which was awesome. I think there, it was like a really long pet quest. It took a really long time for the pets to come back from, but they got 750 apples out of it. And then there was another one where they got like 200. Um, so I didn't even have to get do actual races to get uh, those ones. I did still do a couple of older competitions with some of my um, older horses, like Violet, um, uh, Blue Rose and things like that. I took them into some older competitions and did those to get some extra apples while I was at it. Okay, this is going to level you up to 107. Okay. That's not bad, actually. We got a couple of levels. I'm hoping maybe this little bit of extra stamina makes it easier when we go to do this competition. Right, okay. Just give you I wanted to give her a bit of a bed there to keep her in the happy mood for a little longer. Okay, so we're gonna retry this and once again collecting the little flying things and um, holding the dash whenever it lights up till it goes through the ring and dings. So well it makes like a ding noise, I guess is the better way to put it. So you need to make sure you've signed on when you're doing this. Oh, okay, we've already messed this up. Already messed this up. <laughs> I think I let go too quickly. Uh, okay, I did not mean to hit my volume just then, but yeah, that didn't help just now. <laughs> I think this is gonna go badly. Okay, we got, I think we got some points there. That was not so bad. All right, come on. Ah, uh, we messed this up. Why am I so bad at this? I'm worse at this than I was, was I bad? I was really bad at dressage. Okay, we got points there, but that used so much energy to do that. Why do I feel like Clamish is gonna have to be like 150 level just to have the stamina for this. I don't know if anybody's done this and knows if there's a particular baseline. We have nothing left. We are so gonna fail this. But we have got a score. We're just not gonna be able to do this. Yeah, stamina depleted. Okay, well we're not gonna use gems in this because I wanna be able to do this without using gems, because otherwise we have no hope of doing some of the later ones. So yeah, I think we'll just leave that and come back and try again. Okay, so Finn is currently level 5, and I want to try something with Finn that I've never done before. I want to try hiring a trainer, because I've never done this before, and I want to see what it does. 
Okay, so he's collecting these. I want to see how much XP I get. I know I can skip this, but I want to watch it because I want to know how much XP you actually get on a pet if you spend the gems hiring a trainer. I want to know if it's worth it, basically. Because if it's like a lot of XP, um, it might do it just to get him to catch up with the other two, and if it's not, then I just leave it and um, not do it. Right, okay, he's nearly finished. Oh, okay, he only went up one level. I don't really think I'd bother doing that. I mean, I know it's only one gem, but to get him all the way up there, I need quite a lot of gems. So yeah, I don't think it's worth doing that, really, to be honest. It might be better with the higher level pets, I don't know. I guess I could maybe try that later on and find out. But I'll train Ruby a bit more. But anyway, Scrubs, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you settle a bit. And bye! -bye.